The day I lost Carolyn, I don't think I could have seen myself a week out, a year out, 10 years out. I don't think my mind or my heart was able to grasp it. Early on, right after my brother's suicide, I felt like I was drowning. I remember sitting on the couch and literally thinking, how can the world possibly still be spinning? My first initial thought was just blind anger. I even yelled at him in his casket. That's how mad I was. We have that splinter in our side, and it's never going to go away. And it takes a lot of strength to be able to continue to move day to day with that pain. And I've learned to do that. When Eichel died, I felt that a piece of my heart was missing. I realized that even with that missing part, I can still be whole. I've learned to be comfortable with that paradox. There are good days and bad days. There are good hours and bad hours. You need to take care of what's important, but what's important is you. My husband was a soldier. He was a soldier who died on a battlefield of a different sort. And I didn't want that to be a shameful thing for my children. On this journey, we become a different person. If her death hadn't occurred, if I hadn't processed her grief, if I hadn't gotten involved, I wouldn't be who I am now. All in all, I'm standing on one foot uh, as far as life goes, but I'm not wobbling. And the other foot will come down eventually. If we could do anything for the people that are new to this journey, it's to kind of give them that, you know, that beacon, that hope, that knowledge that wherever they are right now, it's gonna be better.